Okay, let's let's finish the question. So uh, just to remind you, we have rivets. Their shear strength is modeled by a normal curve. It's mean is 600, standard deviation is 30. We want to know what percent of these rivets can be expected to fall below 660 pounds. In other words, what percentage of the rivets uh, have a shear strength that is less than 660 pounds? So uh, I started drawing. Uh, here we go. I started drawing the picture. So 600 is in the middle. The mean is 600. The standard deviation is 30. So I drew two standard deviations out. And then um, I figured out that's 2.5% of the rivets that are stronger than 660. 2.5% of the rivets are weaker than 540. Uh, and I got that from taking 100, subtracting 95, because that's the that's within two standard deviations. That leaves me with 5% on the edges, divide by 2, and that's 2.5%. Okay, but now the now to answer the question. So the question is, what percent? Let me switch to another color here. So here we go. So uh, let's do purple here. So what percent of the rivets um, uh, are I'll just say weaker? And the question that said fall below but that's the same as saying weaker weaker than sorry about my messy handwriting um weaker than 660 pounds okay so let's shade that in in red here so here's 660 so so we're talking about all this we're talking about the entire 95 percent plus this two and a half percent all that is the weaker part and so to answer the question a couple ways to do it you can add this parts together 95 percent plus 2.5 percent which would be 97.5%. So there's your answer. Or I can do 100% minus the, the rivets that are stronger than 660, which also gives you 95 point, excuse me, excuse me, 97.5%. Okay, back to the question. So now we know the answer is 97.5%. So um, just type it in. Um, now, uh, it says type an integer or decimal. Um, now there's a percentage sign, so you have to write 95 points, uh, 97.5, and then check answer, and it's it's good. All right, and and that is it.